Well, I know it's been months, but I'm back. And I did get the porch done actually months ago. <laughs> I just didn't come out with a video. So, she, here it is. I'm calling it done. You know, it's a rustic porch. If you call it a rustic porch, then you don't have to completely finish it because you want it to stay rustic. At least that's my excuse. So, I don't even know where I stopped in my last video, but I used these uh, cattle panels. Or actually, they're uh, goat panels, I guess. Goat and sheep panels. I used them because their squares were even all the way instead of having bigger down to smaller. Um, I did put gutter on it, just the uh, 10 foot sections from Lowe's. And I've got it swapped down here. I've got it running into a rain catchment system which I'll make a video about it later. So when I'm running electrical, I actually put a box under the porch here so I can plug the pump in. So just in case you didn't see my other videos, I notched my posts and then have the floor joists on top of that and then have another one out here capping it off. And in the back, I just have a double, I got those posts notched as well and got a double um, 2 by 12 I think I've got back there. I don't even remember. Um, 2 by 10s on this side. And then for my columns, I put a 5-gallon bucket in the ground upside down. And it's actually sandstone through here. Um, just a perfect depth for those. So it's sitting... Well, some of them are a little... The concrete goes past a bucket. But it takes about exactly a bag of concrete for one pier so that worked out good and I did mill this all on the sawmill some of those are grayed and kind of ugly looking because they were stuff I milled a long time ago and just got around to using it on this one so since I didn't build my shop kind of had a change of plans on it I'll hopefully get to it next year I had all these six by sixes that I had cut for post. And so I just used those for my uh, headers. Let's see. Oh yeah, I made these wide rails to dry this corn on. Um, I, the corn, after it's dried out in the field, with this corn, it's a Guatemalan corn that you see me plant in some of my videos. And it's such a long season corn that it's just not dry enough hardly in the fall to uh grind cornmeal so last year it just yeah it wasn't it did not make nice cornmeal because it was too high moisture so i thought well i just make the rails wide one of the reasons was for that we've also since we built the porch had people over and ate out here and we can just set a crock pot right here on this nice wide rail plug it into this receptacle we put all the food out here plates cups um drinks it just works great for that I even thought we could get some bar stools and set them there and eat from those. So this wide um, rail has just worked out really nice. And that's my box for the rain catchment. And also, my crazy cool wife has been doing our laundry out here um, to save money on water. So we're using the rain water. I got it on a pump. So I mean, it's got good flow. But I'll make a video on this rain catchment thing later. It's actually 1,100 gallons, um, IBC, food grade IBC totes. Then she puts it in a, the laundry in there. Um, it's got this plunger. This is a washboard for pieces that are a little dirtier. Well, anyway, I'll show that in a later video. Plungers the clothes, rings it. I need to make her some uh, saw horses, and this ringer's not um, super steady, so that's kind of unhandy. So I gotta. Got some more work to do there but i ran to get power out here this is a laundry room right through this window and there's a receptacle on the wall so i just punched a hole through the wall with a drill bit ran a wire through there and put a receptacle right here ran one over there and this goes under the porch to that one then i've got one here and another one on the end post and that's where we plug our grill into. And there's another one on our existing little porch. But anyway, 
my wife is tickled that it, how it turned out and that's the main one that matters so I'm happy with it oh yeah our lighting are these they're Harbor Freight LED string lights and they light this porch up very nice and I just wired those just connected it into that main porch light that was there so I just use the same switch in the house so there you have it um, I did quite a few projects this summer like I built a greenhouse, I built uh, my water catchment system, so, uh, and I didn't video any of those, but I'll go make a video showing them. If I video while I'm doing projects, I say the projects take me at least twice as long, and my videos will only pay me a uh, couple dollars per thousand views and I don't usually even get a thousand views so you know not much incentive there to video my projects I enjoy the projects more than I do making the videos I guess so um, I'll try to show what I can when I've got time 